Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody to another great episode of Real Life Matters. And of course, I am your host, Devos, and I just want to thank everybody who's been doing their 15 minutes or more of laughing every day. Yes, every day. If it's 15 minutes, it's the minimum. And also, you know, you can go longer than that. So, you know, because laughing, it releases all those indie morphines in your body. It heals the body. It lowers your blood pressure. There's so many health benefits. Yes, it tones your abs. And yes, for people that uh, maybe have a little bit more abs to be toned, they don't stop their workouts, you know. So <laughs> we consider, you know, we have to take that into consideration. Also, it's for all ages. Everybody can do it. You can, you know, don't say, oh, I don't have anybody to laugh with. You can put something funny on. You could do all, you know, you could call somebody. You could, you know, just, you know, you, maybe you got some people that you hang out with and stuff like that. You can do all of that and all of the above. So, you know, just do your 15 minutes. Yes, it's going to be sore if you go 15 minutes or more. It's going to be, you're going to be a little bit sore. So, you know, you just can, you just continue. All that means is doing something. And even if you start laughing and you're sweating, that means you're doing something. Somebody, some people use the, the, the laughing to warm up their vocal cords, or if they have a speaking engagement, they do it. So that's my, that's my take on it. And, uh, that's what we've got to do. And, and I thank all the people who have been doing it and it keeps you youthful and also, and it's free. So that's important. It's free to laugh every day. So today I got somebody special and you know something he's big out there, but I, you know, I think he's underrated because all the music that he produces and he sings and he does collabs with people, you know, but he is there and, you know, there's a lot of artists who are um, underrated and they shouldn't be on there and you know and you know it's my job here to bring them out of that so people say wow this is this artist and whoo where is he and start you know jumping up and down because they do work hard and sometimes they know they get shadowed because of different artists but this artist he does all different types of genres of music so he shouldn't be there he should be right there along with everybody else and more with the mainstream. So we're going to find out about his journey, everything that he's done and, you know, what hiccups, what would he done different if he knew back then before when he started. So we're going to find out all that information. So we're just going to get right into it with Tedison John. Hey, how are you? <laughs> good, good. I see a laugh in there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's I, I heard you say 15 minutes of, of, of 15 seconds or 15, 15 minutes, of, minutes. Laughing, of laughing a day is good. Yes, it's good for you. It keeps you youthful and it's free. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That's true. <laughs> nice. If you want to look, if you want to look like you're in your 40s, in your, in your, in your 70s, then that's what you got to keep doing. Yeah. You got to start from now. So I, I agree. I agree with that wholeheartedly. Okay. Yeah. All right. So Tedison yeah. John, we yeah. finally, finally get, you know, it's been almost a year. I've been waiting for him, Whoa. for you to come on here. Whoa. Whoa. But, well, well, I would say, I would say sometimes the universe aligns things at the right time. So right. What's supposed to happen at the right time happens at the right time. Right. And you have such a nice voice and you do all your, your videos with, you know, when you, I seen the one, the one there that you did with the girl and you were all, and you were asking, you know, Which one? <laughs> um, gosh, my mind just went blank. The one where you did the video, um, with the girl and you're asking her to come back or something. Um, oh, um, um, is it X games? Where the, X games. That's it. Yes. I actually shot. I actually shot that in Toronto. You did? Yeah, at the sea, at the aquarium, the sea, the big. Um... Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I know. A lot of people go there, and um, yeah, the um, I know which where you're talking yeah. about. We shot that. That's a yeah. nice place to shoot that to shoot yeah. that sort of stuff because uh, they got so much things, and you and you won't even know. You think that you're somewhere else. That's right. So we had we we actually did a lot. The majority of the scenes there, um, it was amazing. Uh, an amazing um, um, video guy called um, Logo. 
Um, okay. We did it. We did it there, and and it was just amazing. The storyline was beautiful. You know, the music um, produced by Private Ryan produced that um, song. Um, I I added some other production in it as well. Yeah. Well, it's so good because and it's right on. It's right on map. What happens every day? So. Wow. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, how did you come up with Tedison John? Is your if that's your name or for some? Well, it, it's my name. It, it's my name. I tried to come up with a stage name before, but I didn't think that work. Um, because people, <laughs> I used to, I I had like TJ. You know, before okay. in Saint Lucia, people call me TJ or people call me Teddy, um, but the majority of people just called my, you know, my full name. I, oh. I I I try to add like a Jackson in the middle of that to try to act all nice and smooth, but that ain't work. So um, people just call me Tennyson John, which is my full my full name. Okay, so you said you're from Saint Lucia. So what part? I am from St. Lucia, the beautiful island of St. Lucia, home of the two-time gold and silver Olympic champion, Julian Alfred. Hello. I have to think about it. <laughs> it um, I know. That was a great moment, wasn't it? <laughs> that's right. I was, raised, I was raised in a place called um, Castries, um, but I live in a place called Rodney Bay right now, which is the, the north of the island. Okay. Yeah. And I guess a lot of people think that you're from Trinidad, right? Yeah, well, a lot of people, a lot, funny enough, you should say that, because when I started to put out music, um, when I had my breakout song, a lot of people didn't think that quality came from St. Lucia. You know, they thought, <laughs> wow. know, they, they thought, they thought it was, you know, they thought it's from Trinidad, you know. Um, mm. But yeah, I just wanted to make sure that people can understand that St. Lucia you know, has that type of, you know, vibe too. St. Lucia can do too, you know, apart from the different genres of music. You know, we have the Denry, but we also have so, you know, we have different singers that can bring out that aspect and quality stuff too. So um, a lot of people thought I was from Trinidad, but I always... <laughs> No, That's he's why. not. He's from St. Lucia, people. Yeah, every time, <laughs> every time I go on stage... I will always introduce myself and say, my name is Tedison John from the beautiful island of St. Lucia. Okay. Yeah. All right. So what made you want to be, inspired you to be what you're doing now? Like you're doing singing and stuff. What did it come from your family? Uh, or yeah, I came from, I came from church with that. I was born, okay. you know, um, junior choirs in church, children choirs, you know, teen choirs. Um, the music thing, I it it I I say that God blessed me with it because we came from it just happened. I am not vocally trained. I am not you know musically trained in in certain things officially. But these things were like self taught, like you know. Um, so for me, taking part in in little competitions in school, you know that kind of stuff, school choirs, that kind of vibe. Um, I come from a family of musicians. Um, I have a brother that um, plays amazing bass, um, wow. Francis, um, a, a jazz group um, for, called Sojin and Blue Mango. I have another brother who plays amazing keyboards. Um, he has his own band on. He works with the cruise ship, so he does a lot of the cruise ship stuff. Wow. Um, so I I come from, I for me, I... I I'm a full-fledged musician, so I play the instruments. My first instrument is um, drums. I'm a full-fledged drummer. If I wasn't a singer, I would be a drummer. Um, wow. Bass playing um, and keyboard playing, percussions. I'm a full-fledged musician. So I come from a family like that. I don't know where we got it because my parents don't do anything <laughs> like that. But um, we, you know, it... it I would say it is God, God given and God blessed. So for me, yes. um, me wanting to do it from long has been embedded in me. In you, yeah, from the time I was, you know, a little kid growing up. Okay, so where do you go when you're writing your songs, or you're in the backyard? You're um, you drinking something? You having, <laughs> you know? Um, well, okay. Number one, I don't drink. I don't smoke. 
Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I've, I've up, never, on those, uh, up on those things there. No, 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 no. no. I, I wasn't raised on that, so not because okay. I am in the industry to be a part of it. I ain't dying my vibe at all. Okay. You know, water and orange juice. That's me. That's orange juice? Um, okay, so we know yeah. what to give you. Uh, so for <laughs> me, so for me, I like um, writing and ideas pop up every day. Like I tell people our job um, is 24 7. People have a nine to five, but a creative has a job which is 24 7 because everything can remind you of something. Everything can re you know, you can you can be walking down the street, you can be taking drives, you can be, you know, in an in event, you can be in a club, you see something, you know, you hear something, you watch the reaction of something, you get a vibe. Um, I like spending time down in the country, you know, countryside you know, on, on, on my property and just chilling out, put a bench on any of the trees, you know, <laughs> rock a pot, you understand, make a pot on, on, on some coals and some stones and, you ah, know, So why are you going to be cooking? We like, we like people that cook. Why they, yeah, why yeah, yeah, cooking? that's the kind of thing for me. You <laughs> know? So for me, I, I, I call it, I'm sort of a, a introvert that can be an extrovert at times when I have to, but most times I am alone. Um, and just get to do my own thing. I spend time yeah. on my own. I can get to come up with ideas. I think I, you know, just different things. I have, I have melodies on my phone that I just put on my phone, you know, and just, you know, that kind of like. Well, that's good. And and people, he cooks. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I got, my hand got a little better over the COVID period. I wasn't really a oh. cook before, but my hand got a little better. Over the COVID period, <laughs> yeah, so I am a work in progress, but I can't okay, you're work in progress. Yeah. Well, at least at least you do at least you're doing a little something. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm much better than before. You know, I'm, I'm much better than before. Um, so I've been told. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> so you had some some people to some guinea pigs to try it out. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, the, the, the family. You know, sometimes I get to cook. You know, for my family, I you know I get to cook for my lady. I get to cook for the brothers. I get to mm -hmm. you know, certain things. So you know that kind of vibe. So they allow you to to do your thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do your yeah. thing, Tedison. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So can you tell us who you performed with? Um. Well, okay. I I'll put it like this. For before everybody got to know me in Carnival, I. In St. Lucia, I did a lot of jazz festivals, mainly at home, you know. So I got to I got to open for a lot of different names. Um, I got to open for John Legend, Michael Bolton, wow. um, Trey Songs, R. Kelly, um, Patti LaBelle, and I got to do something, a, a duet kind of vibe together. Um, then I was a part of a group, um, a main stage act, which was called the Men of Soul. So it was Freddie Jackson, B.B. Winan, um, wow. James Ingram, and also um, George Duke was the, um, the the musical director, you know. He's good. Time. He was yeah. late. Yeah, he's, he's yeah. Right. Um, so I was I was in a lot of jazz before. I got exposed to jazz before doing a lot of that. But it's only when I got into the soca music um, in 2007 um, is where people got to know me at home. Like home was more, you know, it's more bacchanal, it's more carnival, that kind of vibe at home. <laughs> um, so I got to do that. And then um, after that, um, when I got, you know, you can be big in your home, but not really people on the outside knowing you and that kind of vibe. Yes. So af after that, um, it, it took me about... I think it took me about 10 or 12 years for people to get to know me through Ali. And then when Ali went through Trinidad and it did what it did through Trinidad, then, you know, um, everybody got to know me and, and who I was. So it felt like I had to start again. Okay. You understand? Um, but I didn't mind starting over again and gaining new fans and gaining new, <laughs> you know, audiences. Um, so, I've, I mean, I've been with everybody, you know, in the industry, you know, Kef, um, Kerwin, Marshall, Blacks, Bungie, Faye, you know, it, it, Patrice, everybody's been pretty much, you know, together um, in that. I got into the industry 
um, and there are people that influenced me through the industry of soca music. So people like Kerwin Dubois is one of my reasons, you know, um, because he's a full package, a writer, producer, you understand, um, engineer, you know, people like Kess, you know, influenced me as well. The unit, the band unit, the brotherhood, the camaraderie there, it's, it's amazing. Um, I have my band too, and I remember conversations where he and I used to talk, you know, until last year, um, he invited me on tour. I got to tour, do the Man of No Door tour with him, you know, with my band and his band, you know. So we did an East Coast and a West Coast tour, which was amazing, you know. Wow. So I've, I've gotten to be around them and, and, and perform with them. That's good. Okay, so you've done a lot of collaborations with different artists and different people yeah. in the years. So... What three, name three that you would like to do something with, but you haven't. Um, so we talking soca or we talking? Any, any type, any genre. Any genre. Because everybody's mixing up today, so. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, I'll give you four because it seems like you have a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Four. Okay. Because. Okay, I would love, there's, um, I would love to sit in studio with Neo. Woo, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. Neo, yeah. Um, Producer-wise, I would love to sit in studio with Teddy Riley. All right. Um, in... In soca music, I mean, we just a call away, you know. I, I've got, yes! uh, and I've gotten to, I've got, I've been blessed to be in the room and got to, you know, like I got to produce, um, arrogant and for Kerwin Dubois, I got to produce the Hayes rhythm with Kerwin Dubois, which and Kess, which is Fetland, you know. I got to sit down next to a genius like that working, so that's a blessing for me. Yes. So, uh, so everybody in, in the soca that I really wanted to do stuff with, you know, I, I think I, I really got to, you know, okay. do do with them, you know. Any um, reggae artists? Well, I got to, well, funny enough, yeah, reggae, um, one of my 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 idols that I wanted to do stuff with and I got to do with him was Maxi Priest. Um, wow! Yeah, we did. We did the we did a remake of of Leave the Door Open by Bruno Mars and Anderson Park. Um, okay. so I would love to do one with Romaine Virgo. Yes. I would, I would love to do one with Shaggy. Um, and I would love to do one with, um, Tyrus Riley. Okay. So you didn't mention any women. So two women. Two women in the, uh, two, two, uh, two, two just artists in general. Artists and gen whichever you because see people watch our show my show here so I if they do, see <laughs> I want to do Thames okay Thames from 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 Nigeria okay you know I want to do Thames from Nigeria um female again um mm, um um mm, Alicia Keys. Woo! That's a good one. Yeah, I can see Alicia that one. Keys. I got, I got, to, I got to see her um, in LA. I was invited to her rehearsals in LA um, before they went to to Saudi Arabia. One of my buddies is a musical director for her, so while I was in LA, I got to sit in on their rehearsals and just check, you know, her out. And I love people that are. I love people that are musicians also and not just, you know, like they know what they're about. They know. Yes. Yeah, I'm an artist that you can't fool. You know, I, I know <laughs> I know these things, you know. So I love you can't that fool don't like, fool Tennyson here. Yeah, no, 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 no. Because I've I've been I've been, you know, I've been trained, I've been you understand. Hello. <laughs> I was keeping trying to come in, but now this is real life matters. I gotta leave you alone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So tell us about we're gonna bring out one of the songs that you did, um, Ale. Yeah. Tell us about that song, how that well, came up. 
Well, the version that you're going to play, um, it, I'll tell you about where the album came. When COVID happened, right? Yes. And everybody basically was, um, everybody was freaking out um, with COVID and just not knowing what's going to happen. And um, I wanted to do something a little different because I figured um, if there were no carnivals again, if there were no carnivals, what would soca artists do? What would we do? Right. Um, I created this album, an acoustic or a stripped down version of the songs, because I wanted more to approach music festivals compared to carnivals. Like, I didn't want to do, you know, okay, because the Miami carnival is Miami carnival, uh, you know, Labor Days, Labor Days, Toronto. I think the music can. <laughs> I think the music can oh, spread. Day, day. Yeah, I think the music can spread more. You understand? Um, so I wanted to do that. Um, so I created an album with my band called Caribbean Moscato, the Tedison John Project. Um, the reason why we call it Caribbean Moscato is that when you listen to the music, you feel like you want to have a glass of Moscato with some cheese and crackers. You know? Yes. That kind of vibe, hors d'oeuvres, you know, hors d'oeuvre type music. Um, and then we did something like that because we we're not allowed to have shows. So we did like a virtual concert in front of the Pitons. And that's online. You can check that out. Um, and that's what happened. So we took the same songs that people probably knew. And then we did our own versions and personalized versions of them live, you know? Okay. So that's where this one comes from. Um, the same alley that everybody knew, we just did a different version, a stripped down version of it, a more musical version, you know, a mixture of all my different types of influences. All right. So here we go. LA people, yeah. Chedis and John. I have to look cool for that one. I love it. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am going to go and listen to this when I finish. The <laughs> album, the album is called the album is called Caribbean Moscato, the Tennyson Caribbean John Moscato. Project. Um, and it, it birthed it birthed so many different things for me, you know. It it birthed into a place that I wanted to go with the music. When everybody else is going a different way, I like to go, you know, another way. Um, and apart from 
the jumping and waving and running hand, jumping, yeah. splash, splash. I and sometimes believe, it's too much. <laughs> yeah, I, I just believe, and I believe there's an audience that wants to come in and just chill out and take in something nice and amazing. Sometimes so I, I like that. Be, I like that. So yeah, so something like that can be long anyway. You know. Yes. Yeah. Step forward. Mm. Yeah, well, you right. can you can dance slow, but you're not going to be dancing that. Woo, woo, that's woo. right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. All right. So tell us about creme de creme. Oh, creme de la creme. The, creme de la the creme. The version that you're going to hear, right? Um, it was influenced by the music that I grew, I, I was introduced to growing up, like the French part of jazz. Like, you know, so I learned there's American jazz, like you have the, you have like a Kenny a Dave Cause, a, a Kenny G, you know, a Norman Brown, that kind of stuff. That's America. You know, that's North American. That's, you know, Canadian. Y'all know that too. Um, mm -hmm. For me, I preferred the, the French aspect of it, um, the other side, because it allowed my air to be more cooked in terms of odd timing signatures, um, different percussion elements of the song, you know, it allowed me to, to be more open to different things. You understand? Um, so with Creme de la Creme, the beginning of the song is actually me doing a percussion part with my mouth. You understand? I'm playing okay. percussion with my mouth in the beginning. And then I added some spoken word on it with a buddy of mine called um, Keo from St. Lucia, who lives in Toronto, by the way. Okay. You understand? Um, he's in Halifax. Um, Kayo is an amazing artist, amazing spirit. Um, when I was, doing I think I interviewed race, him. I'm not sure. Yeah, when I when I when I I, I brought it to him, I was like, "Kay, I want you to bless me with with something amazing." You know, he decided to put his own style on it. You know, so that creme de la creme gave me that mixture. You know, of these percussions with a little bit of the jazz, a little bit of the you understand that okay. kind of vibe. So, um, some amazing female vocals on it. You understand Lachelle's, um, the girls back home, and we just did our version of what creme de la creme, you know, is. So, ladies and gentlemen, creme de la creme. All right. Yeah, queen, you the one of my dreams. Seems you've been sowing them seeds, watching them grow in the trees. Raw to all of your fruit, raw to all of your leaves. Pray you know just when to leave. All of your demons behind you. He's here to remind you. God has designed you. The heaven inside you. There's much beauty inside, it's just on the surface. Not always easy to love, but you are always worth it. You crazy, this will make you perfect. So searching in this broken world, make you lose your purpose. Not you. Resilience and strength to exude. So a goddess in a new. A whole value of savage of a moon. A view to the moon and back to anything for my view. Album that I could just I want to hear the whole thing and yes. I, you could play that at 
a any function time. you're having anywhere. You can do it. You can do it at any time, and that's any why time. That's why I'm working on on my album number two. You know, um, where you take these songs, you can listen on a morning, night, you know, lunch, brunch, anything you want to do. You, you could can, do anything can, with you those. Can, you can take a, a nice drive. You know, driving from Toronto to Alberta, you understand? <laughs> and then you're listening to something like that. You yes. I just feel the music can get a different, you know, a different kind of vibe. And I believe there's an audience for it. You know, they're definitely, so definitely. I want to, I feel I am here to feed, you know, that audience apart from the, the hardcore stuff that I do and the groovy stuff that I do. I believe that there's an audience for it. And, and, that actually opened up me doing my own concert in Trinidad, you know, called Stripped, which is, it comes from that. You understand? But that's one of the show. <laughs> <laughs> that's another, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah. All right. So tell us about, um, I know you got your new one, but I just want to hear one of these ones. Um, Tennyson with um, Lyrical Play, Play Mass. Oh, yes. This, this one. This one I will tell you right. So I've been I've been a hypocrite for a couple of years. I'll tell you why. Um, I'll tell you why. I have good reason. I have never I have never put a full costume on me for carnival. Never. What? So I, I have been giving you the music for carnival, and I never get to literally play. I'll probably be on the road snapping pictures with the fans and you know ah! and supporters. But you've never seen me in a in a carnival costume. Um, I say for 2025, I want to change that. You know. Okay. Um, so this concept, this song I had that I sent it to Lyrical, um, because I love his his vibe, his energy that he brings to it. When I sent him the idea, it's a song that you, you know you wake up and you have everything in your head as to what you wanted to sound like. Like I had everything, everything. So I called up. <laughs> but I the costume. Up, I called, up, I called up. I called up the, my 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 producer. I was like, "Yo, I need to come to studio now because I have something that needs to come out." I brought in the 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 the, 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 the um, bass players, the guitar players, the drummers. You know, I just brought in everything, and I saw this big festival, and I wanted a different side of me. Everybody knew me for the inspirational side, so I wanted like a little festival side to me. So I released it in Trinidad. And they, 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 they christened me and they called me. It's not Teddy St. John anymore. It's called Festival Teddy. You know? <laughs> you know? So this one is one that we're going to be going into Trinidad with 2025. Um, and this one features my brother Lyrical. Um, produced by um, Swain John Baptist in St. Lucia. Executively produced by yours truly. Written by Lyrical and myself. Um, this one is called Play Mass. All right, let's go. Yeah. <sighs> Oh, my God. 
You got a lot of it gotta have a lot of strength for that one. This one this one for me has all the elements of a live band. I'm a live musician, so I, I can't wait to, you know, play it live, you know? Yeah. It's a vibe. <laughs> You'll survive. I think you will survive. Yes. <laughs> All right. So this one, um, don't worry. Is it don't worry? Which one? Don't worry. Oh, oh, this one is called Don't Worry About Mine. <laughs> this, <laughs> or do you want to play another one? What, or no, the what, other one? Break that breakfast. Have, whatever you want to do. No, you it doesn't be it's you. Breakfast and then you have howdy. Oh, Lord. So the one I just played is for 2025 Carnival. That's 2025 Carnival. Okay, you want to play mass, people. So that one is 2025. You just heard. So which one you want to play now, your last one? Whichever one you want. I don't know. Which one? You um, bre- um, Let's see this Howdy one. It sounds kind of countryish. Okay, so let me tell you about that. And let me give you a fun fact about St. Lucians. St. Lucians love country music. <laughs> Wow. We love country music. So we have country music and we have something in St. Lucia called the Denry segment, right? So I figured what would it sound like to take country music and mix it with Denry and mix it with Soka? Oh. You understand? Yes. So this way Howdy came, you know, into place. How you tell somebody hi, Howdy, you understand? Look to the person <laughs> next to you and say, nice to meet you. It has a line dance and all kind of thing, you know. The video and everything is on. on, on well, on I'll YouTube. tell you a little secret. I'm from Saskatchewan, the western part, so. Oh, my God. So you never <laughs> know. You never know if that song can come back again. It's fresh. <laughs> you can play it. All right, let's go. I came up with a dance for it. You can see it on, on YouTube, line dancing and stuff. You love it. Okay, people, you hear you hear what, what Tennyson John said here. You can go and see it on YouTube. So yes. y'all don't that thing, you we're going and all the country people, the country fans, don't say that there's no music for you guys because howdy is there. That's right. They go. <laughs> So howdy's there. All right. So you say you're working on your second album. Second album in the works. Okay. So the 2025 song that you sang, is that you're only going to be releasing that one song for the... Yeah. I have about... Oh! Six, I have about six <laughs> more releases. <laughs> okay. All right. So what What? What, what else? What, you have six more releases, so you're not releasing them yet. You're not going to say it. You got to come back. One, one coming next week. Um... Another one coming 
in uh-uh. November. Another one coming in December. What? Two, yeah, two coming in December. One for my birthday and one for Christmas. <laughs> back to back to back to yeah. front to back to side. And the music <laughs> for me. The music is not to keep. The music is to give. Yes. You know? It's the gift to the people. So, and a lot of artists do keep the music. You got to get, you know, what are you doing with it? Yeah, so I'm, I'm giving it and blessing. To, to, and I hope everybody finds one or everybody finds all or everybody finds something that they love. You know what I mean? All right. So are there any um, advice that you could give to any musicians that are coming up like yourself? What what would you tell somebody that um, they would have to do? Um, I think I will tell new artists coming into the game, do it for the right reasons, Uh you know, Um, be the difference that you want to see, you know, Um, sometimes you think you're ready for something and when the opportunity is placed in front of you, you realize that you're not ready as much as you think you are. Wow. So take time to develop yourself. Um, Also maintain, maintain humility, you know, maintain a level head. Sometimes Uh the universe gives you a little piece of success just to see how you're going to take it and react. And then sometimes it's the, the way somebody shows you, if somebody shows you themselves when they, you know, when they get a little piece, it's probably that's how they really are, you know? Mm. Um, so sometimes the universe have a way of saying, okay, you can't really handle, you know, what I'm about to bless you with <laughs> or what I'm about to you know, because they're gonna go crazy. Yeah. So for me, it's about maintaining a, a a humility about you, a humble attitude about you. Um, okay. You can't do it alone. Um, I I have no yes people around me. Um, I have people that always make me go back, you know, to the drawing board to fix certain things. Um, also, um, I will say again, believe in yourself and what you want to do and the idea that you want to do and you want to bring. You know. Okay. Um, I am more, I would say, I am, I am more comfortable with myself now um, than I was before. Because sometimes you tend to dampen down the ability that God has given you, you know, to do something. Or you tend to dim, you know, the mm-hmm. light, or you tend to, you know, hold back a bit. But I think I am coming into a place of more awareness, you know, of who I am and what I can do and what I'm able to do. And embrace that more, you know. Okay. I am not your. I am not the the rum drinking artist, pop bottles artist. I'm not that. I'm not the run okay. there, run there, run there, run there, pick up <laughs> something. I am not that. Okay. Um, but I am learning to just accept who I am and attract. You know. The right. The right. Yeah. Because and we make music for the world, you know. And 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 I was having this conversation this morning and. The world is our platform, and and it's whatever we decide to, to to paint with our brush. You understand? And there is something for everybody. So for me, I am just in the process of of creating that Tennyson John community, you know, and building the fan base. You know that people that may not know me would get an opportunity to know me. Um, when I start, when I release the album and set up the tour, you know. People come out, you understand, to see something different, you know, and I guarantee you, you're going to be blessed, you know, with with seeing it. So I just want to tell the artists, do it for the right reasons, maintain a a humility and a humble attitude, you know, about you and and be the difference that you want to see. All right. And any shout outs that you want to give your people? Um, I just want to shout out the whole of, of, of everybody listening on your platform. Thank you for, for having me and, and letting me be known and giving me a different um, platform so people can get to know me who didn't know me. Um, I want they to know you out, now. Yeah, they know me now. I, I want to shout out the whole of St. Lucia, you know, um, my family back home, you know, the team, everybody, my musicians, you know. Um, anything you want to find out, you can you can follow me on the social media at Tedison John T E D D Y S O N J O H N um, at in Instagram, Facebook. You know, revamping the website. Um, you can stream out the music. You know. Um, yes, that's what we say here. And I wanna, Pay I wanna, for the yeah, streaming. Yeah, and I want to invite anybody they come into Trinidad for Carnival, my concert, the Tedison John Experience stripped. It's going to be at the Napa 
you know, February the 19th at the Napa. Come be blessed with something different. Um, it's going to be amazing. Um, look out for more music and let me know how you feel about it. Share it, you know. Um, tell a friend to tell a friend, you know. And just looking forward to probably seeing you guys, you know, when I hit the road. Well, you will hit the road and people stream the music. This is how they get into the room and pay for it. Hello. That's right. You know, pay right. for the music. That's how they get into the ratings. You guys just taking the music, just pay for it. As you know, sometimes it's a dollar or you're not even yeah. sometimes not yeah. even that. Yeah. And just pay for it. So that way they, they get into the, you know, these get if they want to get if they have the Grammys or the MTV yep. and all they these things. Things. If you don't stream it, then they don't get right. there. And, and also, even even when, when we put out a show, to come to a show, um, doing, going to support it and, you know, and, and yeah. support it. And so I just want to create some, you know, some uh, some super fans, you know, that would... That, that come <laughs> die in. hard fans. Yeah, die come. hard fans that will tell everybody and it grows and it grows and it grows. So that's where my head is, you know. Well, I do want to thank you, um, Tedis and John, for telling us about your journey, your story. Now people know who you are. Yeah. Now they know that you come from St. Lucia, not Trinidad. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. They, they know now because, you know, probably the majority of a lot of people thought that. So, you know, yeah. Yeah. it's like, wake up, people. People from St. Lucia, be proud. That's right. That's right. All be right. So, and you. don't be a stranger. Thank Come back. Yeah, yeah, and come back so you can hear we can hear those new songs, you know, of even course. if you're coming January, okay? Course, All right. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Tennyson John. Tennyson yeah. John.